Up next, it's that time of year again. Millions of Americans are traveling for Thanksgiving. And we're going to talk to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg on what to expect ahead of the holiday. Stay with us. Americans across the country are hitting the road this week to gather with friends and family for Thanksgiving. And more travel means crowded airports and traffic on the highways. How busy and how bad will traveling be this holiday season? Well, let's ask the Transportation Secretary, Pete Buttigieg. Thank you so much for being here, sir. sir you said uh, this morning that officials are anticipating that this holiday season will be one of the busiest on record. What are you anticipating when it comes to what people are going to be doing on the road and in the skies. Well, that's right. Uh, so many of us are looking forward to Thanksgiving. It means being with, uh, with family. It means being with those we love. And that means moving around and uh, getting to, to where those loved ones are. Uh, we are expecting about 2.5 million passengers a day. We think the uh, airline travel peak will be on Wednesday. Uh, and, of course, a lot of people on America's roads as well. As always, our biggest focus is safety. We're asking drivers to uh, allow extra time and be extra cautious because often you're, uh, you're, you're going to a relative's house, maybe down a road you don't know that well. Uh, and then uh, on the aviation side, uh, we're going to make sure that we build on the progress that's been made in the last year and a half. Now, so far this year, we've already seen some record-breaking volume in terms of some of those summer holidays. Mm -hmm. And so far, the system has held, held up uh, quite well. Cancellations this year actually below what they were before the pandemic. We're pressing the airlines and watching closely to see if they can keep that record up. Now, you talked about uh, airlines lines, there is, I know you know, a shortage of thousands of air traffic controllers. On Friday, the FAA announced a new hiring pipeline to try to address that. But are there even enough people raising their hands to join in that effort? So we do have a lot of people, thousands and thousands, who apply to become air traffic controllers, but mm. uh, not everybody who applies actually gets the job. For very good reasons, it is a very, very rigorous process. Uh, part of what our new FAA administrator, Michael Whitaker, uh, has done in very swift response to some of the findings that came back from an independent review is to find more ways to get more people qualified while maintaining that high standard. That includes partnerships with uh, universities and other facilities that are in a position to contribute to and augment that training mission, along with our excellent academy in Oklahoma City. And uh, of course, we're also looking for the budget, for the funding to do that additional hiring, one of many, many things that's riding on uh, this process going on with Congress uh, is making sure that we have the funding to hire the controllers that we need and to get them the modern equipment that they need to handle this volume, because our expectation is that that uh, record-breaking demand that we're seeing for mm -hmm. more and more passengers, more and more flights, it's only going to grow in the years to come. And as we enter this holiday season, Mr. Secretary, people are kind of opening up their piggy banks, turning them over to see how much how much is there? So let's talk about the economy. President Biden, he's been trying to sell the American public on an economy that's good. There are some data points that prove it. Gas prices are down. Inflation cooled last month. But I want you to listen to what the president said about this last week. I acknowledge there's a disconnect between the numbers and how people feel about their place in the world right now. We can deal with the second part as well. You are not only a member of the president's cabinet, you've been out there uh, selling infrastructure projects and trying to close that gap that he talked about. How do you continue to do that when it seems to be widening the gap between the numbers, the data and how people appear to feel? Well, a big part of our job, a big part of my job is to explain the good news in terms of the physical improvements that are coming to roads and bridges and tunnels and airports and ports around the country, uh, and in terms of things we're seeing with the big picture economically, uh, inflation coming back down, gas prices, as you mentioned, coming back down. I would add to that airfares becoming much more reasonable lately, uh, and unemployment uh, that I don't think has stayed this low for this long in my lifetime. But that doesn't mean you can go around saying, uh, you know, 
everything's perfect, and we recognize that. Uh, Americans have had uh, a rough few years, especially when you think about COVID and what that did to our society and uh, effects that we are still working through. You think about some of the political polarization that's going on. Uh, we're not out there saying that all of the work is done. Uh, we're out there pointing to the good work that we're doing. And what we found is uh, Americans, uh, even when they feel that uh, we've got a long way to go mm -hmm. uh, for things to be really the way we want them in this country, agree with the steps that President Biden is leading in terms of how to deal with it. Lowering the cost of living, lowering the cost of, uh, of living, that is, lowering the cost of uh, Prescription drugs, uh, getting insulin down to 35 bucks for seniors. Uh, the, the focus on, in, in, in my world, on things like airline passenger protection, right. uh, as well as all that physical infrastructure. We're, we're doing the right things. We've got a lot more work to do. Secretary Pete Buttigieg, Secretary of Transportation, thank you so much. Have a happy Thanksgiving to you, you too, and, and your family. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks very much.